good morning. I am just waiting to go in to see my rheumatologist. I just came from seeing the eye doctor and he thinks that my, I've been having a lot of light sensitivity lately and he thinks that it's because I have some sort of an oil producing deficiency in my eyes and he said a couple of the oil ducts were blocked so he gave me some suggestions on what to do to help with that like using uh, heat like a rolled up towel that I would run under warm water and wring it out and then leave it over my eyes for at least five minutes a day. Um, he said that will help to unblock the, the ducts that are clogged. And he also suggested that I use an eye lubricant and that I also intake or uh, increase my omega-3 uh, intake. So I will definitely do that. And now I'm just waiting to go in to see the rheumatologist for my check-in. Uh, I haven't seen him f since I started flaring up, but things are a lot better now. So hopefully he will start to reduce the prednisone and I will give you a little update on that when I am finished with my appointment with him so I'll see you all in a little bit okay hello again I am just sitting in my car waiting to pick up my son from school this is the parking lot you know part of the parking lot that this also uh, his school grounds is shared with the Surrey school district so there's their big building over there so you know i'm just sitting out here waiting it's such a beautiful day such a nice temperature perfect temperature for me because i'm not a heat loving person i prefer the cooler days but yeah so i'm just sitting here waiting to pick up my son from school okay so the doctor's appointment with my rheumatologist went well. Once a year, he has his nurse uh, just do a quick little screen and she updates the files and updates the information just to make sure that everything on file is correct. So she did all that. She took my weight, she took my height, and uh, took my blood pressure, which was really good today. Although, I am medicated for blood pressure. I do take uh, medication for that. However, my blood pressure was really good today in the office. It was like 120 over 74, which is the lowest that it's been in a long time. So, um, you know, I, I take that with a grain of salt because I do take medication to lower my blood pressure. But uh, in general, it's usually not that low even on a medication. So I think that my, you know, dietary changes and the way that I'm eating is certainly helping to um, bring those numbers down so that's great and um, he said everything else looks good all my lab work looks good everything's going in the right direction um, still wants to keep an eye on the protein in my urine but I think that that's going to be a chronic issue for me um, so but as long as my kidney function is okay then you know that's not necessarily something that we need to be really concerned about um, it's just monitoring it you know and and looking after it when it gets out of control, which, you know, it, it did during this flare, but, you know, things are getting back to normal and uh, going in the right direction. So he did tell me that I can go ahead and start coming down on the prednisone. So I will do that starting from tomorrow. I'll bump it down. Right now I take 20 milligrams a day, so I'll reduce it to 15 milligrams a day. And I take that for, you know, a couple, two, three weeks, see how it goes. And then I'll decrease it again to 10. And then, you know, do that again. And just, you have to taper off of prednisone slowly. Otherwise, you can have a rebound effect and end up uh, getting quite sick from going off of that too fast. Because um, basically what prednisone does is it, it suppresses your adrenal glands and uh, eventually after being on prednisone for long enough your adrenal glands will stop producing cortisol altogether and then you it's basically you need to taper off slowly because you need to wake up your adrenal glands so that they start working again so that's why you have to do it slow 
so I'll work on that so that was great I'm really happy that he gave me the go ahead to start doing that because that's really what I feel like has been hindering my progress otherwise because prednisone as many of you know or many of you may not know is a very nasty drug and although it works very well to treat inflammation and bring down inflammation quickly it has a lot of side effects one of those of course being um, weight gain and water retention um, so you know although I was doing quite well before I flared up and losing you know taking off just over 30 pounds I have put that all back on so um, I really need to get that under control and I'm feeling quite motivated these days to really get back on track and get moving again and I'm feeling like I'm ready to do that uh, this flare was the worst flare ever and uh, so certainly I needed to take the time I needed to take the rest to take care of my body um, and uh, yeah so I'm feeling like I really want to get back on track and uh, start moving my body again get exercising and really uh, focusing on my diet um, so yeah that's kind of where things are right now as far as my health um, yeah, so really not much else to report other than that. Um, oh, and uh, I will be going to the Portland Veg Fest, which is coming up on the, I believe, the 21st and 22nd of this month. So I'll be heading down to Portland with uh, someone that I met recently, one of, another YouTuber that I met recently who happens to live here in the same city that I do. Her name is Sabine O'Meara and her channel is Wonder Bean. So if you haven't checked her out, you should go check her out. She also chronicles her weight loss journey and her healthy living journey and the changes that she's making in her life on her channel and really interesting content so I encourage you all to go check her out as well I'll post her link in the description box of this video so you can go check her out and uh, yeah so her and I are gonna drive down to Portland together and go to the veg fest and I'm staying with Heather Goodwin from the butterfly effect uh, plant-based extreme weight loss so I'm super duper excited about that Heather has been a strong support for me throughout my journey and I know I have I have reached out to her on many occasions very recently and because I was struggling and she just she helped me so immensely and uh, I also encourage anyone to go and check out her channel as well she has uh, taken off well over 200 pounds by following a plant-based diet and I'm just amazed at what she's done and she is definitely inspirational to all of us who are on this similar kind of a path um, showing that you know it can be done and she's doing it so anyway I'm looking forward to staying with her there's gonna be lots of fun events happening down there uh, I'll definitely do as much vlogging as I can and um, yeah so really looking forward to that it's my first veg fest so I'm gonna be meeting a bunch of people that I that I follow on YouTube on a very regular basis uh, people like Jenny from Team Broccoli Amy from Fruity Foodie and Janine from Banana Wisdom and I know uh, Shannon Lee and Eddie are gonna be there from the Veggie Nuts um, Jill for today her and her husband they, they live there so they'll be there and yeah, so just going to be a big meetup of a bunch of people who are all kind of following the same path with a plant-based diet, vegan, you know, what have you. And it's going to be great for motivation and just to have the, the camaraderie and the fellowship with like-minded people and just to relax and have a few good laughs. It's going to be so good. And I'm going by myself, so I don't have to bring my son, and my husband's going to stay home with him. So really, really, really looking forward to getting away for a couple of days where I can just kind of do some self-reflection. And yeah, it's I'm just, I'm so overjoyed about having this opportunity to go um, 
to this event so really looking forward to that and me and Sabine will do some vlogging on our way on the highway driving down and we're gonna stop in at Trader Joe's and Costco it's gonna be just so much fun I'm just so excited so anyway I think that's gonna be it for now I'm just waiting outside again the school to pick up my son so maybe I'll let him say hi when uh, he gets to the car so see you in a few more minutes when my son is done from school. Okay. Ah!